Hello and what's up guys? Uh, it's been a year and I'm wearing my outfit again. <laughs> I did uh, during last year's uh, lockdown, I did a uh, Hank Marvin uh, patch on my Zoom G1X on and then it was requested uh, if I can do it on Zoom G1 4. So I did it and after a year I'm back again. Uh, it's uh, another request. Hank Marvin or The Shadows. And the song is um, Wonderful Land. So what I did was, for those of you who already uh, copied my patch on my Zoom G1 4, you can use it. I tweak it a little bit. So there's only a few uh, parameters that I changed, but the effect stays the same. I changed the reverb, the plate, there's some changes there, we'll show it to you later, as well as the tape echo delay. So those two effects are the ones that I just changed. And for those of you who are uh, watching this video, you can check out my other Hank Marvin uh, videos. You can just search it on YouTube, type Hank Marvin patch, um, and then Vincent Boris, and, and it will get you to my patches. And the other thing, I think when I uh, played that one, I was using the neck pickup, I think, with my previous shadows. And this one, for this particular song, I think it's either a combination of pickups or because it sounds uh, brighter. So I'm using the bridge pickup, but you got the option of using your bridge and middle pickup. That could work. Or some people probably love the tone from their middle pickup, so it's another option. But for this video, we will be using the bridge pickup. Uh, it sounds brighter that way. And then you can just adjust from your amplifier uh, how you would want or the tone of your guitar as well. So there's other ways. But uh, let's crack on with the uh, song. So the intro... It's really bright, so I, I would assume it's the bridge. And it's more of um, Hank Marvin's uh, tremolo technique, the tremolo bar. So yeah, if you don't have a tremolo for your... That's why I use my Strat. So if you're using other guitar, uh, um, especially the hardtail, so it won't work unless probably you're going to add another effect, a tremolo effect. But Hank Marvin is just using mostly his uh, guitar skills. Uh, it's not more of the effects. Uh, it's just added bonus uh, that he is very good with the reverb and uh, delay. But it's mostly the tone that he's doing is coming from his technique of playing. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, the next bit is the verse. And with that one, I don't know if he changed the pickup. So you got your pickup selector. You can put it on the middle. So that it will change the tone. It's not too bright as the intro. Or you can just leave it uh, the same way it is. It's uh, entirely up to you, because I think when they're recording it, they all they edit it. So, yeah, and then the way he plays it from live and studio, there's a difference between the tone and his playing style. So, yeah, just uh, compare, just look on his videos and compare how he's playing it. Sometimes he's doing like. There's other things that he's doing it. And then the tremolo. Don't forget to add that um, um, technique. Oh, another thing. It also changes where you're uh, plucking the string. So if you're near the bridge. Even though we're on the um, middle pickup. It's still a bit brighter. So if you're above here, 
it's a little bit dull. So probably um, Hank was just playing it on the bridge pickup and then he's just moving where he's doing the picking. So even though it probably it's on the bridge pickup when he's doing... See, it, it, it gets a bit dull. And then goes back again to the verse. So with the bridge, um, I I didn't change it because I I don't think uh, Hang Marbin was uh, stepping on the pedal to change it uh, to add the delay. I think it's already there, but he was just doing the palm muting or heel dumping, and like this, and then it's more of his picking technique maybe I, I'm, I'm not quite sure but it sounded like this and then goes back again to the verse <laughs> And then back to the intro as uh, his outro. And that's it guys. So here's the patch. Uh, I just edited my previous patch which is the shadows. And then inside... Uh, you've got the uh, Vox or UK30A uh, amp sim, then the cab sim which is UK 2x12 and then the analog delay and as I've said I've just edited the tape echo and the plate with the amp the UK30A base 40 treble 60 cut 0 um, gain 12 volume 90 depth 18 speed 10 you can always uh, edit this uh, bit guys so it's not really a big problem with the cab sim mic off d57 d421 50 high 52 low 53 and then analog delay time 210 feedback 40 mix 70 tail on now with the tape echo I reduces the speed so that it's uh, during that palm muting uh, I think the speed of the delay there is quite quick so I lower the number it's 400 for the time feedback 19 mix 19 so uh, I edited it that way and then on our um plate i put 20 for the pred and 45 for the uh, decay and mix 50 tail on i think those two remain the same it's just the pred and the decay that i uh turn a bit up oh by the way guys shout out to um michael johnson uh for uh, requesting this um wonderful land patch by um, the shadows and thank you guys for watching that's it uh, and if you're new to my channel and you like my uh, content uh, please subscribe it will help me and tick that um, like button as well as the notification bell so you get notified each time i'm posting new videos and thanks for watching bye